so I wanted to take a few moments and go over the process for organizing files. So when you are working with your first project this week, you are going to be asked to do two things in one step that may not be completely familiar to many of you. And I just wanted to point them out specifically because typically if I am going to get a question about the material, this will be the question. So you are asked in one of your steps to go to your downloads folder. So the easiest way to do that, um, I have an icon at the bottom of my computer, um, as you will see here, that is a folder for File Explorer. If you don't have that, you can go to your search bar and you can type in File and then you will get Explorer. So this is somewhere where you can go to basically see your entire computer at a glance. So what you are being asked to do is to go to your downloads folder. So the quickest way to get there is to look over to the left in this panel on the left and click downloads. So then this is now going to take me to my downloads folder. If yours does not look like this, so you don't have name, date modified, type and size at the very top, you will need to arrange that. So you would go to view, you would select details, which mine is already in that view, then it will look this way. So if you are asked to arrange them by file name, which I believe is what the directions are asking, yes, oh sorry, by file type. So you are asked to arrange them by file type. All you have to do is click on where it says type and it will arrange them. Now mine did not necessarily make a huge change because all of my documents that are currently in my downloads folder are Word documents, but it would arrange them alphabetically by the type of program that was used to create those files. As a note, the reason why I only have four documents is I clean out my downloads folder pretty regularly. Um, as an instructor, when I download any of your assignments to grade them, they are in my downloads folder and that can take up a lot of space on your computer. So I tend to go through at least once a week and I clean up my downloads folder because typically the things that are there that I want to keep, once I have opened them, I will save them to a location where I can find them more easily. So the downloads folder just really holds a lot of information of things that I've downloaded that I have either used and closed or used and saved. So I hope this helps you and just let me know if you have any questions.